Nice. Yes. I don't know what you're going through. Uh -huh. I don't know what your situation is. Uh -huh. But let me give you the solution. And yes. that's Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm here to bring you back to your Lord and personal Savior. Mm -hmm. Yes. In the name of Jesus, I pray that all who hear my voice will come back to the Savior. Will Amen. come back to the Lord. Yes. Jesus, touch the heart of your people. In Jesus, my name. I'm going to give you a testimony before I start. I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm about to tell you that there is no one greater than your Lord Jesus. There is no one greater than the name of Jesus. And the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Amen. Every tongue shall confess Amen. that he is the Lord. So it doesn't matter the situation. It doesn't matter what the paperwork says. It doesn't matter what you're going through. Come to Jesus. Jesus has got the solution. He's got the answer to your problem. Amen. It doesn't matter. Jesus is your solution. Jesus is the answer. He is the King of Glory. Amen. Amen. I'm just here to encourage you people. I'm just here to for encouragement. And I'm saying, come back to your personal Lord and Savior. Come back to the King of Kings. Mm. Yes. Jesus parted the rinse. So whatever situation you find yourself, there's nothing that He cannot do. Amen. Amen. With men, things might be impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Amen. So whatever affliction you're going through, whatever situation, whatever hardship, it doesn't matter. Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the solution. Come back to Jesus. Amen. When you're going through difficult times, people will abandon you. Family and friends will run and leave you. But Jesus will never leave you. For he says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Oh, yeah. Even in your hardest time, the times of trouble, mm. Jesus will never leave you. Mm. He will never forsake you. Yes. He will be there with you. Amen. Affliction will come. Mm. It doesn't matter whether you're in Christ or you're not in Christ. Affliction will come. Trouble will come. Temptation will come. God bless you, man. Jesus is in the city. Jesus is king over the whole earth. Jesus is your savior. Jesus is king. He saved me. And I'm here to tell you, I'm here to just give you the good news. I'm here to show you the truth that life will lead you to the solution of all your problems. It doesn't matter whether you're Christian. This is not about religion. This is about the truth. This is about the light. And this is about Jesus Christ. Mm. That is it. Amen. Amen. Whatever situation you find yourself, <laughs> Lord will never leave you. Jesus will never forsake you. Right. He will be there with you in times of trouble, in times of hardship. Where anyone else around you goes and leaves you, He will never abandon you. Amen. He, Jesus might not always save you through the storm, but He will be with you through the storm. Come on. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes you have to go through the storm to learn one or two things. But even in the storm, He's there with you. Even with Jesus, you can walk on water and He's there with you. Do not look at the distractions because that's when you start sinking. Focus on Jesus. Keep your eyes on Him. Yes. Amen. Everything will pass away, but the Word of God will never pass away. Everything that you see on earth today will pass away, but the Word of God will never pass away. And do not hear the name of Jesus and ignore it. Do not hear the name of Jesus and walk past. Listen to His voice. He's calling you back home. The lost sheep, the stray sheep, He's calling you back home. Come back to Jesus. Come back to Christ. In the times of trouble, in the times of affliction, 
who do you go to? In the times of hardship, trial, and tribulation, who do you turn to? Who is your rock? Who is your source? A human being cannot replace the work of God in your life. Money cannot replace the work of God in your life. Tell it. Family cannot replace the space of God in your life. Mm -hmm. Nothing can replace the space of Jesus in your life. Only Jesus can fill that void. Yes. That void that you feel you need to fill with drinking. Uh -huh. That void that you feel you need to fill with smoking. Uh -huh. Nothing can replace that void. Just the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Only Jesus can fill that void. Mm -hmm. That Jesus. void that you are seeking to replace it. Bye. <laughs> Amen. with women. Nothing, Jesus Christ can replace that Hallelujah. void. And that is it. Hallelujah. Give it a trial. Give Hallelujah. it a go. Nothing can replace that void. Nothing can fill it up. Do not be deceived by the money. Do not be deceived by the things of the world. Only Jesus Christ can fill that void in. Come back to the Savior. Come back to your heavenly Father. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You're walking about smiling, but deep down you're empty. You're empty. You're empty for Jesus. There's that space inside for Jesus. You don't know what to fill that void in. But I'm telling you now, the only thing that can fill that void is the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The power of Jesus. Yes. That is the only thing that can fill that void. That is the only thing that can fill that void. He's the truth, he's the light, and he's the way. Oh, Amen. I'm here to bring it to you. That void you are seeking to fill, that void you are seeking to fill with the things of this world, that void will never be filled because there's only one person that can fill that void, and that is Jesus Christ. Yes. Give him a trial. I'm here to encourage you. Give him a chance. Don't hear this word and just ignore it. Don't hear this word and just pass by. Jesus is speaking. Amen. Listen to his voice. <laughs> I love this. Thank you, Jesus. The strange sheep, Jesus is calling you home. The strange sheep, Jesus wants you back. He's calling you home. He's prepared a place for you. He said, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. It doesn't matter what the situation is saying. It doesn't matter what the enemy is doing in your life. It doesn't matter about that doctor's report. It does not matter. Because though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, he is with you. He prepares a table for you in the presence of your enemy. But you can only receive that when you come back. That's the promise of Christ. In Jesus Christ, there's peace. That peace that money cannot buy. That peace that drug cannot feel. Women cannot feel. Men cannot feel. Loving cannot feel. The peace of Jesus Christ. If that's what you're seeking for, then come back for him. Come back to him. He's ready. He's willing to take you. He's willing to accept you back. But you need to make that step. You need to take this opportunity and come back to him. Give him a chance. Give Jesus a chance. Give Jesus a chance. 
pray for the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. We'll be with you. As you've heard this message, if you, as you've heard the name of Jesus, I pray that you want to find more. You want to find out more about him. You want to get to know him. He wants to get to know you so bad. But you need to take that chance. You need to make that move. You need to open up your hearts. Turn your ways and come back to Jesus. Turn your ways and come back to him. He's ready to take you back. Yes. The name of Jesus break chains. You break bondages. You break traps of the enemy. The name of Jesus, nothing can withstand. Nothing can withstand the name of Jesus. And that name has every power to set you free from everything that you are going through. It doesn't matter what you're going through. That name can set you free. Just accept him as a personal Lord and Savior. That's all you need to do. So if today you want to accept him as a personal Lord and Savior, just open your heart and just say, God, I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. Amen. Jesus, I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. Come into my life. And that is it. Show me your, your great works. Show me, let me see the power of God in my life. I was in a situation where nobody could save me. Friends could not save me. Family could not save me. Nothing. Money could not help me. It was Jesus that came through for me. That was a working. That was a wake up. That was a a, a a wake up call for me. It was a resolution that I had to get up and pick up my cross and follow Christ. Because when you when you're in a situation that nothing can save you. And he comes through and saves you. He does not forsake you. He said, I will not forsake you, nor leave you. And he never forsaked me. He never leave me. This is why I'm standing here today. And I feel like I can tell you about my God. Let me tell you about my God. Give me a chance. Let me tell you about Jesus Christ. He's a God that never fails. He never, he never sleeps nor slumbers. Generation to generation, Jesus Christ remains the same. He's never changed. What he says shall come to pass. Give Jesus a chance. Give him a chance in your life, whatever you're going through. Give him a chance to show you his great powers. He's a miracle walking God. Not him. Give Jesus Christ a chance. Give him a chance in your life. Give him a chance. Give God a chance in your life. I know the truth and that is why I can stand here and tell you about God. I have done things in the way the world says you should do things. I have done it in the ways of the in the ways of the world and it never favored me. And there was this peace that was missing. There was this void that nothing could fill. And it was only Jesus Christ that could fill this void. And this is why I'm telling you today, give Jesus a chance. I've been there, I've walked that path, and it's just a path of destruction. Come back to the Lord, your Lord and Savior. Come back to Jesus Christ. He's calling you home. He wants you back. This is what I'm opportune to be here today and tell you about Jesus Christ. Let me tell you about my God. <laughs> I pray that all who's heard this message, that God will touch your hearts and open up your hearts up to Him. Give Jesus Christ a chance. Give Him a chance in your life. Tomorrow might be too late. Tomorrow might be too late. Give Jesus a chance. Thank you, Nottingham. God bless you all. Thank you.